Yeah. Now, and also, that's why you didn't need reading. Now, they'll always like these classical scholars will always talk about how the Celtic and the Germanic tribes didn't have writing. You know, and we're talking about like a vast amount of, of Europe here stretching from the Danube right across to where I'm right now, right? There was no there, there was no writing. They didn't need it because they had this this had this repository of oral tradition. And this in some ways is far more safer when you have an oral tradition than when you have a statutory document that's legally binding. Once you have that, you have control. Once you have that's why you think the Romans went around to like the most remote parts of Europe holding you know, the fasci, the, you know, it, that, this is just the, the, the law, you know, the law. And, as, and you see like today as, we, as, as, as basically the psychopathic control system is breaking down, where is it being manifested more and more in laws? The EU are constantly passing new laws, new laws. The United States is constantly passing new laws. Police officers are now being more and more militarized. They're, they're, they're more like... Uh, the Judge Dredd character from the old comic, they're, they're really more like a sort of a, a para paramilitary force masquerading as policemen. And this is a collective nervous breakdown of the psychopathic control grid in Western society. It, and they're running to the one thing that's always protected them, the law. Yeah, but the, the point is that the, 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 that the law is no longer capable because when you put things into only paragraphs and into words if there is no interpreter of the law if there is not a judge with a heart and 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 a moral code right if there is no shaman to actually make the choice then it becomes napoleonic law then it becomes everything is illegal unless i say otherwise Yes, yes. It's 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 the it's it's how psychopathic rules happen, right? Because you will have a psychopath or a a dominant, uh, extremely dominant leader, and you will not have that beta character in the uh, in the shape or form of a judge or a priest. This is the whole key. It is the fact that we do not have a um, two-sided system anymore. There's just one. What? Well, one place they do is, I've actually been studying a bit recently, is uh, Sharia law in the Islamic world. They have a very interesting approach. Now, we always hear the most negative things of that, for propaganda reasons, actually. Uh, you know, women having their heads chopped off because they had a boyfriend and stuff. But on the everyday working, day-to-day -day working level, Sharia law does work between a sort of a mediation between the perpetrator, the victim. Now, I've been talking about in terms of like a I say family disputes, you know, those kinds of things, or even business disputes. Uh, mediation between the legal structure of the, the state, the police, the, the Islamic structure, the Sharia structure of the imams and the mediation between them. And that would coincide with a, a mediation between the perpetrator and the victim. And what it basically comes down to is a common understanding that all four can work towards in order to settle the problem. And to me, that is probably very, not very close, but probably the nearest thing we have today to what happened in pagan societies. And, I would imagine it was more like that. And I think you are so much fucking on point with this, because this also proves that there are two forces opposing each other. Because what happened with Christian and pagan society, right, how Christians um, totally um, rooted out paganism, and the natural laws. This is exactly the same that's happening with the modern Western culture's attempt to root out uh, Sharia law. Because if yeah. you look at it, and this is, I think, is key. Um, I know that, that in in Muslim society uh, and culture, there's a lot of things that are not something that I would support. Um, but if you look at the key in relation to psychopathy. What you touched upon is the fact that it is a um, society predator with a very high libido, extremely sexually uh, oriented, right? And yes. with no moral code. This is the key. So they, a psychopathic society would want um, women to be promiscuous yeah. because they don't give a shit. 
They don't care about the fact that there's always someone getting hurt. They don't care about the fact that the that the kids will be suffering. A psychopath well, won't care about these things. But yeah, the traditional yeah. natural society would want to put in checks and balances to make sure that these things do not happen because there's always someone getting hurt. There's always something being destroyed if we do not control our urges. So Sharia law is more natural in that it is trying to say, well, try to control sexuality at least so it doesn't hurt anyone. 